All right, y'all, so we back with another video, man, and I know you see it sitting right here in front of me. This is the Canon 90D with the Sigma 18 to 35, man, the Sigma 18 to 35 Canon 90D. And I know some of y'all are probably saying to yourself, Jay, why do you have that Canon 90D sitting right here in front of you knowing that the Canon R10 and the Canon R7 654321 and all that stuff is out? Why do you have that sitting there? Well, let me make sure I tell you guys this. This is my dream camera. This has always been my dream camera. And currently right now I have this camera with this lens, this kit right here, sitting in a cart in B&H photo, and I wanna buy it, right? But I wanted to test this camera out first, so I jumped on Lens Rentals, and they hooked me up with this right here. Got it to me really, really fast, man, so shouts out to them. This video is not sponsored by them or anything like that. But this is where I rented this camera from just so I can test it before I press the button on B&H photo. Um, and to be honest with you guys, I just got this thing here uh, about four hours ago, and I do love it. It is everything I thought it would have been, even back then when I wanted it. Still right now, this is everything I would have wanted in the camera right now. I'm a little on the fence though. And the reason why I'm on the fence and why I went ahead and rented this so I can test it out is because I know that the Canon R10, Canon R7, 6.5, for all those cameras, they're out right now. And I know the limitations of this camera already. Uh, even back then, uh, early, 19, what, 2020, 2021, whatever, I knew the limitations of this camera. Now, don't get it confused. I do have a Sony ZV-1, but the Sony ZV-1 came out, what, May 2020, I think? And this camera came out in like August of 2019. So they probably about nine months apart, right? The Canon 90D, Sony ZV-1. Short story, my wife got me the ZV-1. If you guys don't remember that, my wife bought me the ZV-1. But prior to her buying me the ZV-1 as a gift, she kept asking me which camera would I want. I told her that this Canon 90D with the Sigma lens was my favorite camera of all time. It was my dream setup that I've always wanted. Um, but I told her that I would have to buy a lot of different lenses and so forth. So then she asked me what would be another camera that I would like to where I wouldn't have to switch lenses and things like that. And I said the Sony ZV-1. So, you know, being the woman that she is, she took it upon herself to roll the dice and she got me the ZV-1. And I am so happy she got me the ZV-1. This camera is amazing. I love the ZV-1 and I'm so proud and I'm so appreciative uh, that she was able to get me the Sony ZV-1, man. So this camera will always probably be sitting right here. <laughs> but I say all that to say that this was the setup that I always wanted. This was my dream setup because I have an old school Canon T5 sitting up there. And that camera is the camera that kind of put me on, on game with the Canon lineup, all right? Because I do have an old school Canon Vixio, whatever little flip out movie camcorder type deal. And then I have the T5. And that T5 has just been like a family camera for me. It took a, a few photos for the YouTube and stuff like that. But, you know, that camera is what set the stage for this camera because I love the ergonomics of that old school camera there. And when the 90D was announced, it became my dream camera and I always wanted it. And now I got my hands on it. And it just, it's just making me love it even more. Now, the reason why I'm still looking at the Canon 90D over the Canon R7 is again, because I already understand the limitations of this camera. I know that it only shoots for 30 minutes. I know it doesn't have a 4K 60. I know it has 4K 24, 30, uh, shoots at 120 frames uh, per second in high frame rate with no uh, autofocus. I know all of the things about this camera, but I also know that the Canon R7 which to me is the upgrade to this camera right here in front of me. I know it shoots 4K, 60, dual card slots and all of this other good stuff, man. But it's not about having the most, you know, newest piece of tech. The only reason I would get the Canon R7 over this camera would be to future-proof myself just, you know, down the line. But the one thing I don't like about the Canon R7 is the fact that you have to use RF lenses. Now, I could put adapters and so forth and all of that good stuff, man, but I like to use cameras with their native, you know, pieces of equipment, right? So for instance, if I did get a Canon R7, yes, I would get some little uh, adapters and stuff so I can run other uh, EF and EFS lenses, but in the back of my mind, I'm gonna always want those RF lenses and I'm gonna start to try to invest in those, but I don't, but I'm not into cameras that hardcore, all right? I have three lenses right here that I can use with this camera as well. I have my 70 to 75 to 300. I got the old Canon 18 to 55 EFS, and I got a 50 uh, f 1.8 right here. 
So I do have three little lenses that I can, you know, start to use with this camera, but I want to buy this camera with the Canon, I mean, with the uh, Sigma 18 to 35, and I do want to get another Sigma lens for this camera. So basically I want to get the body and two other lenses and then just kind of have these, you know, on the side or whatever. Now, the, the thing about this Canon, or well, the thing about this 18 to 35 Sigma is that it's not, it doesn't have any image stabilization and all that. So that'd be like a workaround anyway. Now, just to go into more of the detail of, as to why this is even sitting here is because my wife is uh, a part of a woman's conference and they're touring, right? And their first, you know, spot was here in Atlanta. This was like a month and a half ago, maybe a month ago. And I took my T5 and my iPhone there because the ZV-1, it's low light in there. That ZV-1 just wasn't gonna, it wasn't, it wasn't gonna do me right, right? So I left the ZV-1 right on the tripod. I took my iPhone and I took my T5 for some pictures and my iPhone just to get some quick little, uh, you know, gimbal footage because I got a gimbal and I just want to get some good footage uh, just real quick and easy, right? So long story short, after that, um, I had somebody reach out to me and ask me, did I do this professionally? Because the photos that I took, because I gave it all back to, you know, to the company or whatever so that they can have my footage and all that stuff. And somebody reached out to me and asked me, did I do this professionally? as far as photography and videography. And I told them, no, I don't do it professionally, um, but I do do it for my wife in general, right? And that's another reason why I wanna get this camera is because at her events and things like that, I wanna make sure that I can support her as well as her supporting me with buying me camera gear and iPads and all this stuff. I wanna make sure I got something that I can at least bring to the table to make sure that she has the right footage, the right photos and all of those types of things, man. And I've always thought that the Canon 90D and always wanted this set up because I feel like the Canon 90D can accomplish that mission and I don't have to go out and buy RF lenses because it's not like it's supposed to be super professional and I'm not like a camera nerd or anything like that. Um, but what I want to do for her and what we plan on doing is not on some super, super professional buying a $3,000 lens and a you know $2,000 camera. It's not, it's not that deep, all right? Uh, it's just the quality of this thing, the 32 megapixels, and, and how that 4K looks in this camera with them 32 megapixels, man, with them photos, the way it looks is what got me and, and is what captivated me into this camera. It's not the specs, really. It's not, you know, just the limitations. It's not all of those things. It's just what that 32 megapixels look like when you take a photo with this thing and what that 4K looks like coming out of this camera. That's what got me. One of the biggest limitations to this camera that I know I don't like for a fact is that there's no flat profile, so you have to use a neutral profile. So color grading any other footage out of this uh, could be hard unless you download Cine Style. And I'm not gonna download Cine Style for this camera because this one is not mine. But Cine Style is the only uh, like log profile or whatever the case that uh, is kind of like flat enough to where that you can color grade it on the back end. Other than that, you have to shoot in some of their just standard profiles in here. Uh, and a lot of people that I saw with the 90D shot in neutral and they bagged off some of the saturation and the, you know, and all that contrast and all that stuff, man, in order to color grade it just a little bit. Uh, but the way this camera looks straight out of camera, uh, it still looks amazing. And I think that the 4K looks really good. So um, I just wanted you guys to know that I have a Canon 90D for the next week. I'm probably gonna do a, 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 a few videos on this camera. And the reason I'm doing these videos is kind of for me. It's kind of to see and help myself. Well, it's kind of to help myself with making this choice on the Canon 90D or the R7, all right? Um, and also, let me throw this other camera in there. Now, I said I didn't want to go too high, high price, right? But I do got to throw the eight, the Sony a7 IV in there too. So the Sony a7 IV, Canon 90D, R7, but just keep in mind, this camera or any of those cameras are not for me to do anything uh, professionally like YouTube and all that stuff. It's just a camera for me and my family. Um, and if I wanted to use the camera for YouTube and do some things with YouTube with, the, with this camera or any of those other two cameras I mentioned, that's what I would, be able, I would be able to do that. I would have access to that. But buying this Canon 90D with this Sigma lens, this is would be a family camera that I would kind of maybe use it for YouTube here and there, but I have a ZV-1 and the ZV-1 can run this whole channel. Even an iPhone can run this whole channel. You know what I mean? So uh, this is more for uh, the events that we have coming up from sports, uh, from my wife's touring that she's gonna be doing here shortly. And I wanna make sure I have something that can get some good results and some good quality and not have to go into, you know, five and $6,000 worth of camera gear that, I, that I'm not really into, all right? Cause I'm not really into cameras that hardcore, you know? Uh, but I do like them, but I'm just not into them hardcore like that, all right? 
Um, so you're going to see a couple of videos from the Canon 90D. I know I've been rambling. I promise I'm going to get off of here. Uh, but you're going to see a few videos from the 90D. These videos are to help me in this decision that I'm going to be making here shortly. Uh, and, you know, just kind of work with me. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, the next video you're probably going to see is just a, you know, just a quick uh, test of like what this will look like here in the studio with some lights. I'm going to try to see if I can set this thing up, uh, see what it looks like with some lights, probably go through the lenses and all of that. Uh, give you guys like an indoor you know, quality test and outdoor quality test. And we'll probably try to do uh, like a, just a, a standard little vlog test so we can, you know, see if this setup would even be worth vlogging with, which I would probably never vlog with it because I have a ZV-1. But just to do that anyway, um, go through trying to color grade some of this footage in the neutral profile, showing you what it looks like straight out of camera and stuff like that. And again, it's just for your entertainment, but it's for my knowledge to help me make a decision uh, here in the future uh, for the Canon 90D or the R7 technically. Uh, that a7 IV is just kind of on the side all right so anyway guys i got this from lens rentals man they sent this out man uh very cheap very inexpensive to rent this for a couple of days man and i think that uh here in the future man if i need to test out something man i'm gonna go through them again this video is not sponsored by them um i didn't even want to show i didn't even show the unboxing man but the way this thing came packaged was was top notch bro listen lens rentals doing their thing bro so like I said, from here on out, man, if I need to test out something before I make that big purchase, I'm going through them hands down, man. Shots out to Lens Rentals for this one, man. Y'all really came through with the Canon 90D and this Sigma 18 to 35, man, and they got this thing to me in like a day, bro. Literally in like a day. So, again, Canon 90D, you're going to see a couple of videos here in a minute, man, from the Canon 90D, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, a little story time and just me kind of giving y'all the little rundown on this 90D and what we got going on here, man. Hopefully, it was just entertaining and just giving y'all a little inside into here and why I wanted this camera and why this has always been my dream camera. All right. It's been your man, Jay. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Peace out.